the step back jumper has become the ultimate isolation weapon. And in the NBA, the tougher the shot is, the nastier you are. So who are the filthiest step back shooters in the league? I broke down six of the sickest bad men out there side by side, and I'll let you decide by voting in a poll at the end of this video. Let's get real. Kemba Walker has destroyed souls throughout his career with the step back. And when talking about it, it's important to note two major things, which direction and which foot the shooter used to jab before stepping back. The most common way Kemba does it is to his right and using the right foot to decelerate. Notice how he drags his back foot much like a hockey stop and then hops into the shot. Or he can drag that back foot and add another quick step back which may or may not have you yelling travel. But what makes him so tricky is that he can be going to his right but use his left foot to jab as well into a quick release 1-2 with a little fadeaway giving much needed room over the big man. Everyone tends to mix in a complicated dribbling combo leading up to the step back. And here, Kemba uses the left foot to jab at his man before stepping back into a fadeaway. And he also goes to his left, gets his defender running, then slams on the brakes with that right leg, uses a tiny hop to explode off the ground, and gets the shot off. He can mix in a right to left crossover, jab that right leg forward, dribble at the same time it lands, then push off and gather and rise up leaving the defender grasping at air. Sometimes it still doesn't get him enough space, so he can add a shot fake into the step back, and this makes him truly unstoppable. Now let's look at how LeBron gets his step back. This is a shot he uses almost exclusively for threes, always stepping back to his left and using the right foot to jab and decelerate. The basic move is to quickly jab with that right foot, slide to the left, gather, then bring the right foot back to the left and elevate over his man and knock down the shot. Most of these are done in ISO off the dribble, and at his size, he doesn't need to get much separation at all as he leans back and adds a touch more arc on the shot. He'll mix it up from time to time with a through the legs dribble combined with that right jab, and even hops into this one, but his feet are on the line, the worst shot in basketball. He'll step back from a triple threat position before he's used his dribble, bouncing the ball as he's jabbing the right foot before letting it fly. He also enrages quite a few people outside of the greater Cleveland area on a nightly basis since many of these look like a straight up travel. The key is that he doesn't gather the ball till after he's jabbed that right foot, but then it just looks like a discontinued dribble and three steps. But even though he's pushed the limits to what is legal, since the referees won't call it, we'll all have to accept it. It's time to look at James Harden's step back, and he consistently goes to his right, which makes sense since it allows his left hip and elbow to easily align to the rim. He also accompanies his step back with a series of dribble moves through the legs and doesn't usually have a huge jab step forward before bringing his feet together to quick release the shot. Like LeBron, He'll infuriate people outside of the 713 area code when he pushes the very limit of what a travel is to get this off. And I'm not even sure I can defend this one as he's gathered the ball, plants the left foot jab, then another 1-2 before jumping. This one might be even closer to a travel as he continues his pattern of going to his right, using the left foot to push off, and then a little right-left 1-2 into his jump to get the shot off. Harden also has some of the best stop on a dime ability of anyone in the NBA. Here, he uses the right leg to stop momentum before using the left to push back and get the wide open shot. His off the dribble step back starts with lifting both feet off the ground, landing with the left just outside of his shoulder, not a huge step back to maintain balance, then bringing the left foot together before one motioning the shot into the rim. And to keep the defense honest, every so often, he'll step back to his left with the right foot push off. Next up is Kevin Durant, who is unique in his approach because almost all his step backs are from the low post in the dirk leg mode. They're all over his right shoulder, utilizing his incredible length to get it over any defender in the league. 
he streamlined the move to the basics, back to the basket, initiate contact with the defender, before planting the right foot between the legs of his man, then stepping back with the left and lifting off only that leg, almost like a layup as the right leg kicks up to give added momentum to the fadeaway. It's an impossible shot to block because he's fading away, but also because he can jab that left foot at any time and get it off before the defense is even ready. As he separates from the contact, often his man doesn't realize what's happening and doesn't even get a hand up. No one's ankles are being broken on a move like this, but they're getting scored on nonetheless. The right leg acts almost like a shield, since if the defender makes too much contact with it, it will be a shooting foul. He'll even do it without dribbling, catching the defense way off guard. Everyone uses the step back when they've got a mismatch, and we've seen how the others were doing it when a bigger man was guarding them. You'll notice Durant gets a lot of these step backs when a mouse is in the house. Let's move to the other side of the country and discuss one of the filthier players out there, Kyrie Irving. He almost always goes to his left, which makes it easier to get his shooting hip and elbow aligned to the rim, and uses the same kind of jab step LeBron does to back his man off before stepping back into space for the jumper. He too adds complex dribbling patterns to the equation, feeling out his defender before hitting him with that right jab into a left-right step back, and he's got unlimited range with it. He doesn't need much room at all, just a sliver of daylight as he's got a quick release and uses his right foot to balance on the way down. Kyrie doesn't limit himself to three-point step backs. Like Harden, he's one of the best decelerators of all time, as he drives hard to the left before using that right foot as a brake, then pushes the boundaries of traveling by going left-right-left left before jumping and jing all up in Giannis' face. Like we saw with Kemba, Kyrie uses the right foot jab to stop, drags the left foot behind him, then steps it back slightly and going off both feet over his man for the splash. And he can get really creative with his ball handling, faking the step back, then turning it into a display as he spins and fades and knocks it down. When he needs to improvise, no problem. There isn't a shot out there within 24 feet that he can't get to go in and this one he throws the ball out in front of him, then rises up off the 1-2 fadeaway for a mid-range. And last but not least, we have Steph Curry. While we all marvel over his long-distance shooting, interestingly, he balances out the threes with mid-range stepbacks. He also goes left most of the time to ensure proper alignment, using the right foot as the brake, dragging the left foot for balance before one 2 a quick release before the defender can recover. With Curry, anything inside of 20 feet is like a layup, so he just needs a sliver of daylight and he does get good distance with his step back to ensure that opening. Again, he just needs to get it off without getting blocked when he's inside the three-point arc, and he's got every version of footwork to get it off before the defender can block it. And of course, there's the threes, where he almost always plants the right foot and does a little ballet hop into a one-two to splash these when the big man in the pick and roll bites on the right foot jab step. So there you have it sports fans, these are the six players with some of the nastiest step back jumpers in the world. And it's up to you to decide who's got the dirtiest filth among them. Make sure to vote early and often and make your voice heard. Since at B-Ball Breakdown, we're not a channel, we're a conversation. You win? Sports fans, to see more of our great NBA content and analysis, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but also click the bell and adjust your settings so you can get an alert the second our videos drop, because trust me, you're going to want them hot and fresh. You in?